people with kidney disease, uh, the symptoms are start off being mysterious because you don't know what they are and what is happening. You know, they definitely started to kind of weigh you down when you're trying to live life and uh, the disease, you know, was definitely taking a bit more of a, a front seat uh, in my life than it, it had previously. You're just sluggish, tired, absolutely no energy, no strength, uh, no mo mental desire to do anything. I can walk two hours, you know, something like that, non-stop, you know, really. Yeah. But now, only half an hour, I need, <laughs> my is choking already. My air is not comfortable, right? When I was on dialysis, I experienced more fatigue than pain, really. Um, I was on dialysis three times a week in, in center um, for four hour treatments. And it would take almost the whole day, um, the next day for me to get back kind of on my feet and getting energy to do things. I tried to work full time for about a year after starting dialysis um, and after about a year I just ran out of gas, I just couldn't do it anymore. The other part is memory loss or memory fading, memory gaps. I'll forget in, in a moment and uh, maybe five minutes later I'll remember what it was. And uh, sometimes it, it seems like it takes 30 seconds to to connect the two thoughts together. You'd be talking to somebody in mid-conversation then you'd have to stop because you either forgot your train of thought or you forgot the word that you're trying to say. I get frustrated suddenly if somebody's talking about something and, and I just don't remember it and I used to feel like I had a very good memory. The other thing I've noticed is my legs ache, especially uh, following uh, exercise or walking. You'll start bloating, gaining weight. From one visit to another in a doctor, I gained almost 40 pounds of fluid. The swelling, um, you know, just general skin changes as well. Very, you know, flaky. My body wasn't processing things correctly. Um, and yes, I definitely did not have uh, ankles for, for most of the summer last year. You know, when you look at all these things, I think they all add up to a lot. Like this, this dialysis is always there. It's always something you got to consider, whatever you're doing. and. Uh, you know, I always say when, when you're when I'm on dialysis or when you're on dialysis, really your whole family's on dialysis. I've had to slow down. I've had to learn to take care of myself rather than take care of others. Uh, I have to put my health first, my needs first. If you're in a positive mind frame and taking care of yourself, more likely you'll be able to maintain or sustain you know, possible symptoms and have a better actual health outcome from it as well. The best people that I could reach out to were people that were going through or had experienced the same things that I did. I would talk to other, um, other patients as we were waiting in, di in the dialysis waiting room. I also reached out to, to um, to Facebook and social media and you know joined different groups that um, that had uh, people going through the same things that I was going through. I volunteer at the dialysis unit just down the end of the street here. He gives them a bit of help and cheer them up and have some laughs or try and tell some jokes and you know uh, that's the way it should be isn't it? I joined the club you know that okay they like me because I'm so, I'm so positive when they see all the members, wow, you don't look like you had the dialysis, you don't look like sick people. Be honest with you, I feel upset too sometimes. You know, you go through all sorts of emotions and I really think that um, mental health is something that's not fully explored. We went through some struggles along the way. There was expectations of our future that had to change, um, timelines that had to change, things that we went through to try and figure out who we are as a couple while dealing with her condition. Do I hit low points? Yes, I do. Uh, do I stay in them long? No. I, I work at it to get myself out of those things. I probably uh, am enjoying myself more in life at this point, even though I'm, I'm sick, still sick, uh, because I'm discovering all this stuff about myself. You know, I never chose to have kidney disease, but I wouldn't change it because it's provided me so many different unique opportunities to be able to give back, meet awesome people, and, you know, now have this, like, a little, like, a piece of my husband in me, like, who I, you know, like, he's with me all the time as I joke.